Have you ever wondered where the Easter Bunny story originated? And why is Easter called Easter? Stay tuned until the end, and we'll uncover some fascinating truths. Welcome to Fact Frenzy, your gateway to incredible facts. If you haven't already, join our family by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. That way, you'll get two new videos every week. So get comfortable, because today we'll explore some incredible Easter facts that you'll want to know. Easter, principal festival of the Christian Church, which celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ on the third day after his crucifixion. The earliest recorded observance of an Easter celebration comes from the second century, though the commemoration of Jesus' resurrection probably occurred earlier. While the central story of Jesus' death and resurrection is likely familiar to those who celebrate, there's a lot of us who might not know about the unique traditions and meaningful symbolism that surrounds this special Sunday. When it comes to Easter, the main distinction is the date. Catholic Easter is usually before Orthodox Easter, but every few years, they coincide on the same day. Timing varies each year, as the Orthodox Church bases the date of the holiday on the Julian calendar, while Catholics use the Gregorian one. Ever wondered why Easter Sunday changes date every year? It's down to the lunar calendar and the position of the moon. Easter, in fact, falls on the first Sunday after the full moon that takes place on or after March 21st, which is said to signal the start of spring. A crucial element of the celebration is the painting of eggs. Instead of organizing a chocolate egg hunt, we paint hard-boiled chicken eggs with special paints. This should be done either before sunset on Maundy Thursday or during the day on Holy Saturday. The first egg is always red, and the grandmother or mother touches each child's forehead and cheeks with it as a ritual for health and well-being. This egg is then saved in the fridge until the next year to keep the home safe and healthy. Another unique tradition is the egg fights, where individuals gently tap their eggs against the eggs of others. The owner of the last unbroken egg is believed to have a year of good luck. After the Easter vacation, kids bring their winners to school and organize competitions. Even if you lose the fight, well, you get to eat your loser egg. Besides all of the colorful eggs, there are a few more things. The one that deserves first mention is a sweet bread called Kozanak. We garnish it with raisins, almonds, chocolate, or just sugar. You will see a lot of bakeries selling it around Easter time, but it can also be found year-round as it's too tasty to be consumed only once per year. Between the adorable bunny rabbits, spring-forward decorations, and copious amounts of chocolate, the celebration has evolved over the years with a whole host of customs, both new and old. The idea of the Easter bunny delivering candy and eggs originated in Germany during the Middle Ages, with the first written mention of this tradition dating back to the 16th century. Dutch settlers in Pennsylvania brought the bunny to the United States in the 1700s, and the rest is delicious history. We can say that the story of rabbits bringing eggs doesn't make a lot of logical sense, so there must be a reason why every year children rush to see what treats this mythical creature has left for them. But just like Santa Claus has no Christian significance to Christmas, the Easter Bunny also has no real connection to this holy day. The origin of the Easter Bunny dates back hundreds of years, beginning in pre-Christian Germany. Here, the hare was said to be the symbol of the pagan goddess of spring and fertility. As Christianity spread across Europe, pagan traditions were blended with Christian holidays, which saw the Easter Bunny lay a nest of colorful, today, chocolate eggs for children who were well-behaved on Easter Sunday. Easter baskets have special symbolism. The woven treat containers represent birds' nests and new life, especially when filled to the brim with eggs. Plus, they're a pretty utilitarian way to gather those goodies on your Easter egg hunt. Eggs are dyed to represent the blood of Jesus Christ. Well, at least that might be one of the reasons, which stems from early Christians in Mesopotamia. There isn't a concrete reason behind the tradition, but that's one of the theories. They also look pretty, and kids might be more likely to eat a dyed hard-boiled egg than a plain one. According to scholars, this Christian holiday was named after the Anglo-Saxon goddess, Iostre, who was depicted as a fertility goddess and a goddess of dawn and light. She was honored at pagan festivals celebrating the arrival of spring, further highlighting the blend of pagan traditions with Christian holidays. There's a reason you probably eat ham for Easter dinner. Historically, most early Easter celebrants would have eaten lamb for this special occasion since the holiday has its roots in Jewish Passover. But these days, many American Easter dinners now feature ham instead because of the timing of the holiday. Years ago, hams cured over the winter months would have been ready to serve in the early spring. Have you ever wondered who started the trend of tucking into chocolate-shaped eggs on Easter Sunday? It was during the 19th century that the Fry family of Bristol ran the largest chocolate factory in the world and produced the first chocolate egg in 1873. 
It was two years later in 1875 that saw Cadbury's make their first Easter egg. Another fascinating Easter fact for you, Cadbury's makes 500 million crumb eggs every year. If you piled them on top of each other, it would be 10x higher than Mount Everest. The Birmingham factory produces 1.5 million cream eggs every day, and the creme egg is the most popular egg-shaped chocolate in the world. Easter lilies are a relatively new tradition. These beautiful blooms first originated in Japan and arrived in England in the late 18th century. The United States only caught on to the trend after World War I. The transition from dormant bulbs to delicate flowers brings to mind hope and rebirth, two important themes of the Easter celebration. At 31 feet tall and 18 feet wide, it is the world's largest Easter egg. Found in Vagreville, Alberta, Canada, the egg weighs a hefty 5,000 pounds and took 12,000 hours to complete. Named the Vegreville Pisanka, the world's largest Easter egg is actually more of a jigsaw than a sculpture, as it is made from 3,500 pieces of aluminium. When we think of Easter, chocolate, hot cross buns, and eggs usually spring to mind. But did you know that pretzels are also an Easter snack? Pretzels are associated with Easter because the twists resemble arms crossing in prayer. From the 1950s, it was tradition for Germans to eat a pretzel and a hard-boiled egg for dinner on Good Friday. Easter eggs date back way before Easter. There's evidence showing that Easter eggs originated from medieval Europe and Christians may not have actually been the ones to start the tradition of giving eggs. They're a symbol of fertility and rebirth in many cultures around the world. The White House Easter egg roll tradition started in 1878. It's said that President Rutherford B. Hayes was taking a walk when children approached him asking about a possible Easter egg roll. He loved the idea and it's been one of the cutest annual White House events ever since. If you've enjoyed the video so far, go ahead and smash that like button. Your support really helps the channel grow, and I genuinely appreciate it. Now let's dive into some more quirky facts. Easter clothes used to be considered good luck. Old superstition held that if you wore new clothes on Easter, you would have good luck for the rest of the year. In fact, it was so widely believed that upper-class New Yorkers would literally strut their stuff coming out of attending Easter Mass at well-heeled Midtown churches. This tradition became the basis of the modern and decidedly less elitist Easter Parade and Easter Bonnet Festival in New York. Easter and Halloween compete for the highest candy sales. The two holidays go head-to-head -head for the most candy sales every year. In fact, some years people buy more candy the week before Easter than the week before Halloween. But that's because Halloween purchases are more spread out over the month leading up to the spooky night. In 1953, it took 27 hours to make one peep. That's back when they were still new to the world and were handmade with a pastry tube. But don't worry, it now takes just six minutes, thanks to a unique machine called the depositor that creates the unique and instantly recognizable shape. Americans eat about 1.5 million peeps during Easter. That makes these colorful marshmallows the most popular non-chocolate Easter candy. The Bethlehem, Pennsylvania factory makes an impressive 5.5 million a day. Try dipping yours in melting chocolate this year for an even tastier treat. Americans consume over 16 million jelly beans during Easter. That's enough jelly beans to circle the globe not once, not twice, but three times, or to fill a plastic egg the size of a nine-story building. First introduced as an Easter treat in the 1930s, we can't imagine this day without them. Around 90 million chocolate bunnies are sold for Easter. Considering 2.6 billion is spent on candy alone during this religious and secular spring celebration, it makes sense. Oh, and that's only in the United States. We bet most of those people have opinions on whether to devour theirs tail or ears first. A surprising 59% of people eat the ears first. Only a handful start with the feet or tail, and the rest apparently don't have a plan of action. If that's you, consider this your inspiration to give it a little thought before cracking into yours or the kids. Good Friday is recognized as a holiday in only 12 states. Occurring two days before Easter Sunday, Good Friday commemorates Jesus Christ's crucifixion, but it isn't a federal holiday. Only certain states officially observe it, include New Jersey, North Carolina, and Tennessee. On Good Friday, which sees the start of the Easter weekend, it is illegal to dance in public in the majority of states in Germany. Even Europe's clubbing capital, Berlin, becomes a dance-free zone out of respect for the religious day. In Baden-Württemberg, music is allowed to be played, but dancing is not allowed. Whilst in Bavaria, if you are caught playing music of any kind in a bar, you could be fined up to 10,000 euros. So why the boogie band, Germany? The thinking behind this band is out of respect for Christians, who mourn the death of Jesus on Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And in Germany, these days are considered to be holidays of silence. 
Possibly the world's most expensive egg was sold at Christie's in London for nine million pounds, breaking Faber's records. The enameled egg contains a multicolored cockerel, which at every hour pops out of the egg and flaps his wings before nodding his head three times. The egg was made by Carl Fabergé in St. Petersburg in 1902 and is the second largest egg ever made by Fabergé. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to Fact Frenzy for more fascinating content. Stay curious everyone and happy holidays!